What's up everyone, so today I'm going to be reviewing a new Beyblade system that I made, and this system is called the Variant System. So, let's look at all the bay bays and their parts. Starting off, we have the defense type for this system, and this defense type is Alien Star Striker, and it has a pretty cool white and gray color scheme, with this white, I mean with this yellow U shape, as you can see. So let's look at all the parts. So here are the two parts for this new system. And I like this new system better than the old system because the bays don't break as much. Um, yeah, this system doesn't isn't really um, that customizable. But yeah, let's go over the layer first. So here's the layer. And what's unique about this system is that you can customize the contact points to change the base performance and to make it look different and that's why it's called the variant system but I'll show the, con the other two contact points later yeah this layer is very circular it's almost a perfect circle if it weren't for these two contact points at the top it has a flat contact point with a slope and it has a full slope here So here's the gear driver, and this is the exact same driver that came on Shot Turbo Blaster. But instead of these one by twos with stud with a single with single studs, they're just one by two plates. But yeah, other than that, this is technically the same driver. Once again, it has a gear tip with a circular tip here. But yeah, let's put the bay together. Here's the completed Alien Star Striker. Here's the side view, the bottom view, and the top view. Let's go over the balance type in these three bays. Next up, we have the balance type of these three bays. And this is um, Hammer Sword Flame. And this is a dual spinning bay, as I said in my previous review for this bay. But I'm reviewing it again because I have to review the whole system. Yeah, here's the driver, but let's go over the parts. Also, I'm going to be going over how the system works. So what you do is, it's really simple. You just take off these two contact points here, and then you just replace it if you want to with these two contact points here. And the bay looks completely different, and the performance is probably different as well. But let's go over the full bay. So here's the hammer sword flame layer. It has these two red 1x4s and it has these two sword edges. I guess you could call them that. But yeah, this is a dual spinning bay. It has a smash attack mode and right spin. But the smash attack mode isn't really... I mean, I guess you could call this a smash attack mode and left spin. But yeah, this is the only contact point that takes, that takes recoil. But other than that, this bay is pretty stable. But I think this is the this is the second best Lego bay that I've made for its huge attacks and for its um, stamina-ish capabilities. I know this layer doesn't really look like it would be good for stamina, but it kind of is. But yeah, that's really all I have to say about Hammer Sword Flame. Let's go over the Risk Driver next. Here's the Risk Driver, and it's called Risk because you can either go fast on this flat tip and then speed up on this circular base, or you can hit the edge of this driver and lose a lot of stamina. But most of the time it hits this circle. But yeah, the gimmick with this driver is that you can have it in attack mode where it's extremely flat, or you can have a stamina mode where you take this off and it becomes free spin. 
But yeah, this driver has really good life after death and has really good attack as well. So it matches the layer pretty well. So yeah, that's really all I have to say about this risk driver. Let's put the bay together. Here we have the completed hammer sword flame. Here's the side view, the bottom view, and the top view. So yeah, let's go over the, the, the attack type for this system. The attack type for the system is called Bumblebee, and it has these because it reminded me of Optimus Prime from Transformers. But yeah, these uh, these contact points are huge, and it has a flat contact. These two flat contact points here as well. So yeah, let's go over the parts. So let's start off with the layer. So here is the Bumblebee layer. And it takes a lot of recoil because of this contact point here and here. I mean, this doesn't really make contact, but this makes contact and it takes a lot of recoil. And so this, con wait, this doesn't make contact either. But yeah, it has a pretty cool orange, orangish, yellow design. And it has purple here because I thought it would look cool. Also, it's the only other color I had, so I decided to use it. Here's the bottom of the layer. Okay, let's go over the driver next. So, here is variable plastic. And this is variable plastic because it looks like variable, but instead of rubber, it has plastic. Because you know how in GT they did the um, metal tip drivers. So, this is plastic tip drivers. Test launches and test battles for each bay. Test launch with Alien Star Striker. For each one, letter. It's just life after death. Okay. Test launch with hammer, sword, flame, and it's right spinning attack mode. Reach one left. <laughs>
test one of these bumblebees. Which one let it rip? Okay, that was it. Now let's move on to the test battles. And Alien Star Striker won that. I have to do this battle, but. That's gonna conclude my review for my new variant Beyblades. I hope you enjoyed this review and thank you for 14 subscribers. I never thought I would get any subscribers for this YouTube channel, but 14 subscribers is crazy even though it's a small amount. So thank you. But anyway, I'll see you in the next review and peace.